today we're going to be making a family sensory prayer mat full of little items that are important to us and remind us of our family and the people in our family that we can be praying for them and thinking about them at the same time so what will you need then to have for this activity so i want you to go away and get yourself some water and put some food coloring or food dye in to make it colorful if you don't have food coloring or food dye you could add paint in there as well and just give it a good stir around and that will work just as well and um, also then uh, you can have some glitter to add in to your bag as well to make it sparkle and um, you can have um, items to put into your bag as well that are important to you as a family so you're thinking about how we can pray for each other and pray for us together as a family so in here i have made a little heart out of a pipe cleaner and um, to remind me to pray um, for my family and to love my family because sometimes it's easy sometimes it's hard and um, I have a little character here a little person that reminds me of somebody in my family and so whenever I'll feel that and touch that in the sensory bag I will remember to pray for them I have a lego brick here with dots on six dots to remind me of the six people that are in my family and to pray for them and I have another lego dot here to remind me of other people that I should be praying for in my church community and my family community and um, the people that I know and um, all around me I have a little frog here and um, and that reminds me of God's creation and um, and I love frogs and um, just reminds me to thank God for all the the, the things that he has created and made i have little hands and um, here as well and it's to remind me of my hands and helping hands and how i can be helpful and useful to those around me i have a little toy here that reminds me of the joy it is to play and to have some fun together as well and to do that and to pray for that that we would have joy and fun at this time in our lives i've got some buttons as well to remind me of the creativity of um the clothes that we wear and the things that we have and to remind us to pray for the things that god has given us in our lives i've got some letters as well and the letter j to remind me to pray for me julie i have some balloons to remind me just to have some fun as well um, and just different items that can go in to the bag but you must remember that they need to be waterproof and um, otherwise it'll dissolve and um, so make sure that they're plastic or waterproof in some way that you can put them into your little bag for your sensory activity now the bag is made out of one of these um, a laminating pouch and um, so we just need one of those and it'll be opened and we'll create a bag from it that we will fill and create our sensory mat but in order to close our bag and make it secure we use our hair straighteners now, i'm sure some of you most of you would have hair straighteners even even daddy and um, and uh, this activity when we're using the hair straighteners we must remember that it's adults only for this part that the adults need to be using this not the children this gets very very hot and we need to be really really careful with it okay um, and so if you go and get those items ready for this activity that will be fantastic you can also go and get some cello tape or some masking tape and um, in order to stick around as well if you prefer to do that and if you don't have um, a laminating pouch you can use a plastic food bag as well but we'll show you how to do that too so if you would go and get those items now and then come back we'll be ready to get started okay see you in a minute bye okay welcome back so we're going to be making one of these our family sensory prayer mats okay so i hope you've gathered everything that you require and so first of all we're going to take our laminating sheet um it's got three sides and three of them are open and one is not so the top one here we want to keep at the top because it's already sealed now we want to seal off uh two sides first of all so that we have it ready as a bag so this is where an adult needs to use the hair straighteners to help to do this activity so very carefully it's very hot you will go down the side of the bag to seal it but don't go in too far otherwise you create a, a very small bag so just at the sides there just seal it 
So go down the side of the bag and seal the bag as you go down, okay? So you'll see it sealing itself and going clear as it's stuck together, okay? So the heat helps it to stick down and creates a nice seal. So there's one side done. Now turn it over and we'll do the other side. So we'll bring the heat down and you can see it as it goes down, as it goes down through, it will seal the side. So there we go, it's all sealed, nice and secure, that no water should escape, okay? So then once you've got that done, you'll be able to open your bag like that and you'll be able to fill your bag with your items that you've collected around your house, okay? So remember, I have my balloons that go in for a bit of fun, a fun little character to remember to pray for the people around us, a little uh, Lego with six little bumps on it to remind me of my family. I have a little person to remind me of that person that I know who looks like that. I've got some little creatures to remind me of God's creation around me. I've got little hands to remind me to be good and gentle and kind and use my hands with other people around me. I have buttons. I have a little heart shape to remind me of God's heart for me and for other people as well. And just to be caring and sharing with them as well. And so we're just going to add those in to the bag. Like that. And I also have little little shapes of Lego, the one the one little cubes. And I put little faces on them to remind me sometimes I'm cross, but most of the time I'm happy. And I've got little people like that in here as well to just look at and to, to remind me of things that I can be praying for. So as we add, I'm going to add in some uh, red and some silver glitter to create some glitteriness inside my bag. And then this is the tricky bit. So again, you might want an adult to help you um, in case it spills or in case it knocks over. You wanna add your water, your liquid. And so I have mine with my nice green food coloring dye or paint. Remember we can use paint as well. And we're just gonna fill up our bag, okay? Now we wanna fill up the bag so that it's um, more than more than halfway, about three quarters of the way full with your water, okay? So you might want to use a couple of people to hold the bag while maybe mummy or daddy or an adult fills it for you. And so you can see all the things that are inside the bag um, floating at the minute. And we'll just continue to fill that up a wee bit more so that we have a full sensory bag like that. Okay, now the next thing that you need to do is you need to get out all the air that's in the bag um, because you don't want any air and it doesn't really matter if you've got a couple of air bubbles, but that's fine. So what you do is you go and take it to an edge of your table and you lean it against it and you try and take out the water or uh, the air from that, but trying to keep it as dry as possible. And then what you want to do is you want to take your hair straighteners again. Again, you need to be using an adult for this. Make sure it's nice and safe um, as we close the bag up. And so we wanna close the bag up with the hair straighteners. The heat will close the top of the bag for you and you'll see it being closed like that. So that'll take out any of the air um, and you can squeeze out the air while you're going. Keep it safe. Um, and keep you safe. So remember, an adult needs to be doing this little bit here. And then I'm doing a little bit at a time so that a little bit of the air can escape out the side there. So that while you're doing that, you can let air out of your bag so that we can have no, not too much air left inside the bag. It doesn't really matter if there is a little bit of air in your bag because that just creates a little bubble for you as well to play with uh, on your bag. So when you've got it sealed and it actually cools quite quickly and it seals quite quickly, then your bag is ready to lie down and for you to use as a prayer mat for the whole family to come together and to pray. 
and you can feel and touch for those items within your little prayer mat um, and be praying for the people and the things that they remind you remind you of and uh, just have some fun with it and as a family you can sit around and place it on the table and you can sit around and you can play with the little things in there and be feeling and touching and remembering to pray for one another to pray for each other as a family to pray for those that we love around us and that can't be with us at the minute and to pray for our church family and our community that we live in as well so we hope you enjoy that craft activity and we hope you enjoy your sensory prayer mat. If you don't have one of these bags to be making, then you can make it from the sandwich bag here as well. But make sure that you have it sealed really, really well at the top um, as well. And it's just exactly the same way it's made, adding the liquid, adding all your little items that remind you to pray uh, and to have that as an alternative for you to use but these little mats should do you for a couple of weeks unless you're really rough um, and it might burst open so just be careful when you're using it and playing with it and having it around you might want to put it in a in a tray or something like that when you're praying just in case okay have fun enjoy praying together and enjoy this activity bye